Hi, Mints Math. It must be Maths by Yami. Welcome again to the world of Maths by Yami. So this one is a doubt from Cat Twenty Twenty Doubt Group. So under the your question, my solution, I think this one is one of the best question on the factorial. I would say first you pause the video and try to solve this question, then check the video solution. So I hope you have paused the video. Now check the video solution. Answer of this question is nothing but four thirty six or the minus one. So this was a perfect example of Wilson theorem and Chinese remainder theorem. Let's solve this question. Since we have a factorial, then we need to use the Wilson theorem. What is the Wilson theorem? P minus two factorial when divided by P remainder is one, where the P is the prime, or the P minus one factorial divided by P remainder is minus one, or the P minus one where the P is the prime is termed as Wilson theorem. What is Chinese remainder theorem? If you have a number which has more than two prime, here we have nineteen and twenty three. So we need to work on a 19 and 23 individual for 18 factorial. So the 18 factorial when divided by 19, the remainder would be nothing but minus one or 18. That's the remainder by the Wilson theorem. Now check for the 23. So when we say the 23 divides 21 factorial, the gap of two remainders should be one or 24 or minus 22. Why we have three options? Because one, 24, or minus 22. Are equivalent in the terms of remainder for the twenty-three. But here the question is not twenty-one but eighteen. So we can write twenty-one into twenty into nineteen into eighteen factorial. When divided by twenty-three, these are the options. So this will give remainder minus two. This one will give remainder minus three. This one will give remainder minus four. So we have minus twenty-four into something is the eighteen factorial. We have twenty-four is one of the options by the Chinese remainder theorem or the remainder equation. We have minus twenty-four, so we can say the eighteen factorial would give remainder minus one. So eighteen factorial divided by twenty-three would give remainder minus one or twenty-two. We just open the options for twenty-one factorials. Then we got that eighteen factorial would be minus one for the twenty-three. Now we need to work on the Chinese remainder theorem. The same number. When divided by nineteen, we have a common remainder of minus one. Whenever we have a common remainder, we solve with the minus one. So we can say four thirty seven. When divides eighteen factorial, we'll get the common remainder, which one is minus one. Or in case of four thirty seven, the minus one remainder should be four thirty six, which one is the answer of this question. If we won't get the minus one as a common remainder or any other common remainder, we need to work on the Chinese remainder theorem equation or the Option elimination method. So answer this question is four thirty six, which one is quite an easy question, but an interesting one and the conceptual one. We need to work on nineteen and twenty three individual. We got minus one as a remainder for the twenty three. We just open the factorial terms. We got the remainder as minus one with the options provided or the equations provided, and the common remainder is minus one for four thirty seven. So answer this question is four thirty six, which one is the answer of this question. If you have any doubt, and you are in my WhatsApp group. Or on the Facebook, you can send doubts directly to me or inbox me. I am waiting for your questions. I try to give my best. You give your best, and let's crack the examination. God bless you. Happy learning, and bye bye.